Hi! Today I just wanted to make a shorter video just to follow up from yesterday's video. I thought that was the most amazing thing that the video was exactly 11111 and I did not do that on purpose. I saw that it was getting to that time but I didn't do that on purpose. I thought that was so cool because I've always wanted to make a philosophical video that ended at that time on those numbers because I'm big on number sequences and again signs from the universe messages one has always been my favorite number at always ever since I was little even and then 1111 is a big time twin flame number again if you don't know what that is or if you don't identify with that it's totally fine I just thought that was really cool but so we're talking about again feeling our feelings and again, I hope some of the things I'm saying are making sense to you. That's really all I'm trying to do right now is just put things in different perspectives and paint a picture for you so you could just see it in a different way. And if it's not clicking and if you're not connecting with it yet, that's totally fine. Because when you're ready for this process, a lot of these things will start clicking. And if you're not ready or if you don't want it, it won't. And that's totally fine. It's Again, it's however you want to live your life. But if you're watching my videos, I'm assuming that you're kind of on a similar path, similar journey as me. And you're probably a little spiritual minded and have some depth to you where you're really wanting to understand yourself on a deeper level and you're really wanting to connect to your emotional self because again we we connect to the logical self without even trying kids again we're born into ego that's why kids are so egotistical by nature not on purpose that's just because that's how we are born because we don't even understand at some point that there are other things outside of us that exist that matter also we think we are the only ones that matter and so we start learning more and more as we get through life. So the logic, observing things, taking on experiences, and just understanding them very matter-of-factly, we do that by nature. It's the emotional layer that's harder because that requires honesty. It requires vulnerability. It requires a lot of pain. And for us to sit in this pain, and we avoid pain by nature. So again, when we're doing this process, one of the reasons why it's so difficult is because we're almost going against what our body and our brain is going to allow us to do. We have to shut that down and say, no, I'm going to feel these feelings. I'm going to feel unworthy for a little bit. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look at my shame. I'm going to feel through the fact that I'm sitting here thinking that I don't matter or wondering if I have any purpose or meaning in life. That doesn't feel good. None of those feel good to be in that space, whatever you want to call it. And again, the word feelings in itself is very multidimensional. I can use that to describe a lot of different situations. But for me in particular, when I'm talking about self-love and I talk about feelings, it's mostly that the whole being in the dark space, which looks like do I matter? Am I good enough? Why am I here? Am I meaningful in some way? And all of that is us really wondering if we're even lovable or not. And, and it's okay that we get to that dark space because we're going to. We're human. It's that we, how do we get through it? The goal is not to just get out of it because you're going to be continuously in it for your entire life as far as I'm concerned because there's always going to be a contrast of dark and light and so when you are recognizing the darkness meaning when it's creeping in on you and the emptiness and again not feeling good enough whatever you want to call it when that starts happening for you Instead of avoiding it with our avoiding behaviors, the defense mechanisms, the toxic cycles, the seeking a thrill, going for the rush, whatever it is that we choose to do in these moments. Instead of doing that, we're learning on this channel how to sit in it, allow it to creep in and shine a light in there so that you can feel what you need to feel 
Because once you allow yourself to actually experience those feelings and emotions, as painful as they are, that's what also raises our vibration. Because once you go in and start feeling that, it's you're also validating that you're okay. And that it was okay that you felt that. And that you are still lovable and that you do matter. Because just by nature, if I go and I take the time to really metaphorically give myself a hug and comfort myself in that moment, I'm telling myself right then and there, look, you're enough and you are loved. Because I went and I took the time to give that experience for myself. So I was thinking about that too, about, you know, I always talk about the contrast, the duality, that everything has its opposite. Not everything concepts as far as up can exist without knowing what down means. Light can exist without dark. Positive can exist without negative. If we're always feeling positive, let's say, at some point, how do we even know that we're still feeling positive unless something comes in and causes us to rebalance ourselves back into positive vibes? We can't because at some point, it's just going to start feeling the same. And at some point, it's going to lose its frequency. And so if it's always positive, it's at some point, it won't even feel positive anymore. It'll just start to feel sameness. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's how I'm going to say it. It's just it's the same. So we need that constant contrast to be able to balance all of these things out. So we have that within us, I believe. Again, the dark versus the light is probably the easiest way I can describe it because we have the unpleasant emotions or unpleasant side of ourselves, if that's even how you want to call it, and the pleasant side to ourselves, if that's even what you want to call it. It's the feeling at peace, feeling that joy, those are obviously going to put us into higher frequencies where we're enjoying the moment more versus when we're in the dark space and we're feeling like we don't matter, that doesn't feel so good. But that needs to exist, again, so we can balance to create that inner peace. Inner peace doesn't happen because we just all of a sudden feel good about who we are and ta-da, the end, you're done, your journey's over, you finally love who you are and you're good. It's like, no, you're human. And guess what? Something else is going to happen. It's going to test you. Something else is going to happen. It's going to trigger you. Something else is going to happen and it's going to cause you to be in low vibes. Something's going to happen and it's going to make you question your self-worth. Something is going to happen that's going to sting your self-esteem in that moment. That's fine. What we do, though, is we run from that. We're like, no, 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 no. I'm going to go prove that I'm lovable by doing things that where I'm actually detaching from myself because I'm looking outside of myself to try to prove that I'm okay. So when I was thinking about the duality within us, the inner child, for example, when I imagine when I'm in the dark space and I'm feeling despair, I'm feeling hopeless, just all of the really dark feelings, or whatever you want to call it. Again, when I go back and I shine that light, another way to say that energetically speaking, because energy doesn't speak, we do. Energy communicates, it has a language. Again, it's high frequency, low frequency. It's, and that kind of translates for us again into feeling good or not feeling so good. It's probably the simplest way I can say it. But so energy has frequency. So it communicates in the sense that we understand I'm feeling something and I like it. I'm feeling something and I don't like it. it. Again, I guess is probably the best way to say that. And so when we are in a space where we're not liking whatever is happening, what we tend to do is then avoid ourselves, part of our truth, we turn away from it and we try to look at something else and we try to connect with something else outside of ourselves so we don't so we don't start to go into what we would consider low vibes but the problem with that is that even now if i go outside of myself 
I'm chasing the cheap thrill. I'm doing whatever I need to do to gain that rush. I can feel something so I can feel some sense of connection within myself so I can feel alive in some way. So let me go yell at somebody. Let me go be super aggressive. Not only am I probably disrespecting somebody in that moment, it might have made me feel good for two seconds, but it didn't resolve anything. I don't feel peaceful now. There's no sense of inner joy or gratitude. Why am I, Why would I be grateful? Because I went and yelled at somebody. I was like, especially if they didn't deserve it, you know? And so, because I used to do that. Not, I wouldn't go yell at random people, but I would get a little aggressive because I wanted to assert my dominance and my power. Because when I started to feel powerless... That took me to the dark place real quick because then it was like people can take advantage of me. People did take advantage of me at one point. And what did that feel like when I was being taken advantage of? It felt like I was nothing. It felt like I didn't matter. It felt like I was invisible and suddenly people could do whatever the hell they wanted. And I had to just take it. So I had no power. So again, we have to be careful with the situations that are happening and when I say how it's making us feel there are multiple layers of emotions that are happening and at the core of all of it is always going to be at some point I felt like I didn't matter I felt like I wasn't good enough I felt like I wasn't lovable and so when we start to go into that dark space whether we realize it or not and we don't it's subconscious it's unconscious there's no consciousness in this dark space it's dark we can't see in it which is why I'm telling you we need to look at it. And it's like, well, how do we look at it if I can't see it? You can see it when you start to shine the light. You have to choose to do that, though. It, you have to choose to do that. And again, we're going to go a little bit against the ego because the ego is like, no, 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 no. I don't want to feel that. No, nope. we avoid pain by nature once again. So we have to be intentional about shining that light. I have to tell myself, no. We're doing this. We're going to sit here. You're starting to feel hopeless. Where is this coming from? It's okay that you're feeling that way. Where is this coming from? Well, somebody, I don't know. Somebody just said something to me. Or I hate my life. Or whatever it is for you in that moment. And we have to start shining that light. But it's also that we're giving the inner child a hug. and it's Because again, energy doesn't have a language. So what does it understand? It understands when it gets put back into a higher frequency. So you think about it. That's why I look at energy and energetic flow. And it's constant. And if we're constantly trying to balance it, how do I balance a low vibe, a low frequency in that moment or feeling not good enough? How do I balance that out? It's not by running and sleeping with somebody so that suddenly I feel wanted and lovable. No. Because when I go and sleep with somebody to try to prove that I'm lovable... I just told myself I wasn't lovable by doing that. Because if I have to try to prove that, it means I'm not believing that. So when I go and actually put forth effort to go outside of myself to sleep with this person, let's just for an example, I literally just told myself, oh, look, you really aren't good enough. So I had to go sleep with somebody instead so that I could ignore you ourselves because I didn't want to look at you I'd rather look at this person and why would that raise our vibration just think about that scenario I know I said that yesterday but just think about that scenario because a lot of people do that. a lot of people use sex to feel better about themselves a lot of people <laughs> which is why I think it's a good idea to practice I said celibacy or abstinence, just not just chillax on having sex with people sometimes, but being intentional about it. Like I'm not going to do this for a certain amount of time, or I'm going to take space to be with myself, be by myself for a certain amount of time because it's what I need. And it's for me. A lot of times we don't do that. We, a lot of people don't like to be alone. And so because it's we want to feel connected and i get that i really do but when we learn how to do that within ourselves you're not going to want to do things like that anymore you're not going to need to do that to get yourself into higher vibes you're not going to need to do things like that to start to feel better about yourself we're going to learn how to do that 
within ourselves and we are going to be able to give us that metaphorical hug we are going to be able to get ourselves back into high vibes that's what we're doing right now as we speak on this channel but again think about that scenario so i was in low vibes and i was feeling kind of unwanted maybe i got triggered maybe i was just having a bad moment maybe the darkness started to kick in for whatever reason it just does because we don't forget our past we don't the energetic flow of those emotions from that time don't just go away because we got older the energy is still flowing within us and if we don't resolve it it will just continue to be in low vibes and i made a video about that but so those low vibe energies whatever you want to call them everything's kind of on cycles and i believe that so even energetic flows are on cycles. And so if that cycles back around, and it will, and it's still in low vibes, it will continue to cycle back in low vibes until we go and do something about it, until we go and raise its frequency. Not by talking to the energy. We don't physically tell the energy. You start feeling good about yourself right now. Love yourself right now. No, we have to take action and part of the action is feeling feelings, which again, it may not make full sense to you and that's totally fine. A lot of these things may not make sense to some of you and that's totally fine. It will click at some point. It really will. The more you just keep going and going within meditating, I suggest doing that every day. Just talk to your higher self, your higher consciousness, the universe, whatever you want to call it. Ask for help. Ask for guidance. We're trying to change these low frequencies because the duality is within us, the light and the dark. So what we just really, what we're doing is we're just balancing the two. We're not avoiding the dark. We're bringing in the dark. I shouldn't say bringing in the dark. We're acknowledging the dark by shining a light in the dark. That acknowledges that the darkness exists. We can't bring dark into light. If you notice that I can't bring dark space into a lit area, I can't do that. All I can ever, all we can ever do is bring light to dark. And I'm not talking about metaphorically. I'm talking about physically, literally. If you went out in the woods and it's pitch black and you get your flashlight and you turn it on, what's going to happen? You create a space of light in the dark but now if I'm in a room and it's fully lit every light is on and it's as light as it can be I can't turn on a dark space to create a dark space in that light I can't that's physically impossible I can get a black piece of construction paper and I can hold it up and say look here's a dark space but that's not the same thing so if that's happening within us and we're in that dark space, what's the only thing we can do? We can put light in there, but we can't bring that darkness into the light. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when we're not in a good place within ourselves and we are not feeling good about who we are, because again, the low frequencies of things that have happened to us and how we view ourselves, the false belief systems, all of those things, the shame. When that's happening, because it's real, that's really a part of us. It really is. The reason why that starts to take over and why it can take over is because it will take over and it will be there fully, all of it, as dark as it can be, until what? until we shine that light so we can stay in the darkness like I can't bring that dark to the light like I just said which is what we're trying to do when we reach outside of ourselves for some sense of light or or love or inner peace gratitude the connection within ourselves I can't bring the dark outside of myself and hope to to get some sense of love or closure or resolve. What I do is I, if I'm trying to bring the dark space out, again, I'm going to go sleep with this person. 
because I'm hoping that that will somehow make the darkness go away and somehow I'll feel better about myself and then magically none of those things that happened to me as a child mattered and I really am lovable and look at this I really am something special and I'm wanted so I'm loved but if you went and slept with somebody so that you could try to feel wanted Again, you were doing that because you were not feeling good about yourself. And so all you did was just proved that you don't feel good about yourself. And so you literally took your darkness and you tried to bring it into the light, which is not possible. <laughs> the black piece of construction paper, it's like, I, you know, I can bring that into the room, but that's not really darkness. It's just a dark piece of paper. So I went, I took the darkness and I tried to bring it into my life and I tried to go out and, and feel better. I brought this darkness over here and then I went and slept with this person and hoped that it would turn that into high vibes or shine a light to make it more positive. Sparkly, glitterly, glitterly, glittery, <laughs> however you want to see that. Look, it's sparkly. No, it's not. It's still darkness. You just covered it up. You just, you ran from it. You didn't bring it with you. You ran from it and you actually made it bigger because now you pulled it and you created more of a dark void, a more of a disconnect. Every time we run from ourselves, we are disconnecting from ourselves even more. If I'm running from something, I'm creating more of a distance from it. Am I not? Just imagine yourself running away from anything, a bear in the woods. There's the bear. I'm going to run as fast as I can, and I'm going to get miles apart from that damn thing. So the more, so I went and I slept with this person randomly to try to fill that void, to try to feel better about myself. But when I was running from myself, I actually opened the void more, and I created a bigger gap. And I actually created more of a dark space. I hope that makes sense. Versus what? Well, what are we supposed to do if I can't go and have sex with somebody if I'm not feeling good about myself and you're telling me that you want me to feel pain and you want me to feel hopeless and in despair and you want me to feel sad? Yeah. But not just that, but where's that coming from? So it's not just that we sit in despair, because I've done that. I did that for years. I sat in despair, and I didn't, I didn't know how to get out of it, because I didn't know that there was another step. This is what we're learning on this channel. Here's the step, but it's not as simple as one, two, three, here you go. So I'm not going to go sleep with this person. Instead, what I'm going to do is... I'm not feeling lovable right now. I'm not feeling good about myself for whatever reason. Figure it out. Figure out what the trigger was. And then a lot of times, especially in the beginning, a memory will pop up with that trigger. Or somebody will say something that will remind you of maybe something your dad told you once. And it didn't feel good. And so then you're like, oh, I don't like this. That's okay. Whatever is happening, it's telling you that you're that, that it's dark right there in that area if you if we're going to look at it like that. So instead of trying to pull the darkness outside of myself to try to love myself by again sleeping with this random person, I pulled my darkness over here hoping that doing this would somehow make it glittery and pretty, make me glittery and pretty, and it didn't. What did it do? It just created more of a gap. So instead, I, again, said no. Nope. I picked up the phone. I was about to call somebody or I saw somebody and they flirted with me and I was about to do it. But then I said, you know what? I'm not in a good place right now. I don't think I'm in a good space. And we know when we're not in a good head space. We know. Most, a lot of the times we know. Sometimes we really don't, but the more you are becoming aware of your behaviors and certain things, the more aware of that you will become because that's where the consciousness will come in because again, we can't do anything about it if we're not conscious of it. So here I am 
picking up the phone, flirting with somebody, and then I'm like, oh, no, stop, you're in a bad space. It's dark, I don't like it, I don't like the way this feels. I know, but we're, so it's dark, so what can I do? I can't bring dark into light, so again, what can we do? We can bring light into dark. And why is that so important, and why does that make things all better? better however you want to call it maybe not better maybe not even the right word but when we shine a light what does it do it creates balance balance better higher vibes higher frequencies however you want to see it i'm going to shine this light i'm going to sit in this dark place right now and i'm going to sit here and i'm going to try to understand what i am feeling because we have to we're going to be logical at first until we really learn how to feel our feelings that's normal so let me sit here and let me think about where this darkness is coming in and what I'm feeling and then when we go there and we sit and then we start to cry and we start to feel sad because I'm like you know what? I really don't feel worthy right now I really don't feel meaningful in any way <sighs> this really hurts I know when we sit there and we kind of let it happen for a little bit. And every time we're doing that, not only are we shining a light, so that dark space gets filled a little bit more each time. Not only are we doing that, but we are validating our feelings. We're saying it's okay. We're saying I'm okay because I'm feeling this way. I'm saying that I matter because I took the time to feel this, to look at this, to sit in this. I took that time to do that. Metaphorically speaking, I'm giving my inner child a hug. Imagine yourself as a kid, and every time you're in that dark space, you're sitting on a bench, and you're crying, you're not feeling good. And then go in there as the adult, as the part of you that's ready to give them a hug and tell them it's okay. And imagine yourself putting your arm around this you as a kid. And just letting them cry on your shoulder. It's okay, whatever you're feeling and whatever is happening for you right now, you're okay and it's and it's fine. And go ahead and cry and take all the time you need to feel what you need to feel. Because when you do that, because I know people think, but if I let myself think that I don't matter, then I, isn't that me believing that I don't matter? No. Because what you're doing when you're feeling it is you are shining a light on it in that dark space. And the more you start shining that light, the, the less and less we have of that dark space. We're always going to have it to some degree, the contrast. But when it's huge, just to put it in those terms... That's when we try to avoid ourselves more because it's so out of balance and so scary that we don't even know what to do with that. So we run away. It's too much. So we avoid it. But when we look at it and we start closing it in or shining a light, lighting it up, creating more of the higher frequencies, when we're doing that, we don't feel as disconnected. I, me personally right now, I don't feel as disconnected as I used to within myself. So I can enjoy little things more and more that I couldn't before because I couldn't be in the moment. I just wasn't able to. I was just constantly looking for something to make me feel some sense of something because I always feel dead inside. And that was because the gap, the dark space was so big that I just, I didn't like the way that felt. It was too much. It was too overwhelming for me because there was a lot. I ha I've had to deal with a lot of trauma. And so if you have a lot of trauma, it just means the space is a little bit bigger and it just means we got to shine the light on a lot more area of ourselves. Just look at it like that. It, that's why I tell you this doesn't happen overnight. So I shine the light. Okay, there's still a shit ton of darkness. That's okay. I'm going to keep shining my light though. Because again, guess what? 
when I choose not to go and have sex with that person, when I choose to not do drugs, when I choose to not drink, when I choose to not go outside of myself to try to feel okay with myself, when I choose me, little by little, what that really means is I'm shining this light and I'm, and I'm making the dark space less. So the light is now more and more, which means what? Which means I'm connected with myself more and more, which means what? It's a lot easier for me daily to believe that I'm lovable because now there's more light than dark. Again, is the darkness still there? Of course. Am I still alive and human? Yes, the dark space is still there. But now I know how to go and shine the light instead. I know how to give my inner child a metaphorical hug and tell her it's okay to feel what she's feeling and let her feel it. Because as she's feeling it, she's actually bringing light to it. And when she's bringing light to it, she is closing the gap. So the need to go outside of myself now is getting less and less, which means again, what? Which means that me within my soul self is gaining more clarity and more balance, which means that I am at a place of inner peace more and more in a way that I just never could do before because the gap was so big. There was so so much dark space because I didn't know how to handle it before. And again, it took years, years shining this light before I even saw light. Again, imagine going out to the desert. Have you been to the desert? You see how big it is, how much space there is. And I'm taking one little flashlight, my phone, and I turn the flashlight on. Okay, that's going to give me like two inches of light if, if we're going to put a number on it. So here I am with this two inches of light and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of darkness. But now imagine somebody, there's another little flashlight and then we shine that. Okay, there's still miles and miles of darkness, but now let's bring in another flashlight and then let's bring in another flashlight. Let's bring in another flashlight. And so we keep doing that again, metaphorically speaking. What's going to eventually happen now after I have a gazillion flashlights? Again, if we're going to put a number on it, uh, the light's getting more and the darkness is getting less. Now, in order for light to exist, there always has to be darkness. So that's, again, why dark places will always continue to exist. But the, I guess for me, kind of my purpose and my soul's journey is just learning to sit in the darkness and accept it and be okay with it. Be okay with the fact that it exists, that it's in me, but know how to shine the light so that it doesn't take over so that I don't have to sit in despair. I can sit in sadness and I can sit in unworthiness. I can sit and feel that I'm unlovable and believe I'm unlovable for a little bit. But once I shine that light, what I just told my energy is that, look, I'm shining a light so you're allowed to be in higher frequency now. And all that meant is there, the darkness is less. So again, however you want to see that, that you can look at it like that. How do, how do I know I raise my vibration? Because what we did is we made the darkness less. That's another, just another way to look at it, just to put in that perspective. So if the dark space is less, frequencies are higher inevitably positivity is coming now into this situation and we start to feel better about ourselves without even realizing it but again it's going to take a lot of light before you're even going to start to feel better about yourself i'm going to be honest about that again it's the road less traveled because it takes so much time i have been in despair for years and i'll get into more of that a different time but it's I have been in darkness, so much darkness in that desert. And I just, all I had was a match and this little tiny, tiny flame that was the tiniest light. And that's all I had. 
And that's all I even understood. And it was up to me in therapy, because I went to therapy for years, to, again, learn how to keep shining brighter and brighter, bringing in the light, making the dark less, meaning feeling better about myself, because I actually understood where I wasn't feeling good about myself. Again, this may not make full sense to you, because it kind of, it does and it doesn't. It depends on how you look at it. Because again, it's I'm feeling sad. You're wanting me to feel sad. And how does that make me feel better? It's like, because you are feeling sad. Because you are believing that you're not lovable sometimes. Because you're human and things have happened to you. And when you ignore that, you're not helping at all. You're not doing anything. You're not resolving anything. You're not fixing the problem, so to speak. All you're doing is you are... You're leaving the dark dark. So let's bring in the light. I just wanted to say that. Again, I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to keep saying different things. But metaphorically speaking, there's always there always has to be dark for us to understand light. So in order for us to shine bright, there's always going to be dark spaces within our soul. And all we can do is look at it. And acknowledge it, connect to it, be okay with it, because it's part of us, it's part of me. So if I'm okay with the darkness, I'm also okay with that part of myself, which is automatically demonstrating that I'm loving myself and that I believe I'm lovable because I'm accepting this part of myself. That's that's why it's healthy and why we need to go there. Because you're telling yourself you're lovable when you're willing to shine the light versus, okay, I'm going to go sleep with this person so that this person can make me feel like I'm lovable. If I needed this person and to have sex with this random person to feel lovable, that implies that it's because I'm not feeling lovable. So really, honestly, what I just did is I hated myself more. So how is that self-love? It's not, it's a quick fix. It's what we do to try to feel better. Instant gratification. I need to feel real good real quick. It's what we do. That's not what we're doing anymore, though. And if we reach for the crutch sometimes, it's okay because we're human and it's going to happen. We're going to fail, fuck up again, normal. But we will reach for the crutch less and less. And when we do, I guarantee the darkness is going to become more and more apparent and it's going to feel scary. But once you have control over your light and you know you can shine it, it's not going to be as scary for you. Again, it takes a really long time. But... Giving up the crutch, giving up the toxic cycles, the unhealthy behavior patterns, going in and sitting in the darkness and loving ourselves and metaphorically telling our inner child that they are love and giving them a hug and letting them feel what they need to feel. It all takes time, but that's what we're doing to continue self-love, to continue this path of really connecting to the fact that we are lovable by nature and that is us aligning with our truth so let's continue to align with our truth and just be conscious of the crutch and say no to it and say yes to the dark instead say yes to the darkness and not only yes to the darkness because I'm not saying yes I want to feel like shit it's yes I know I'm gonna feel like shit but then yes I can now shine a light and bring it into higher vibes. So then really at some point, I'm not going to feel like shit. So we're shining that light so that eventually we're not going to feel bad <laughs> anymore. Or at least not as often, I should say. We're always going to feel some sense of negativity because we're still human and things happen to us. But it's not going to feel hopeless. It's not going to feel like the sense of despair, it's going to feel more hopeful because I know now when I'm feeling all these things, I can do something about it. Hence again, the personal accountability. Who can do something about it? Me, you, not other people, me. And that doesn't mean we can't go to therapy, but even in therapy, they are there to guide you. You have to take the steps. That's why it's hard. That's why a lot of people give up because they're like, Will you fix me? And the therapist is like, no, you have to do the work. I'm going to show you how to do the work, but you have to do it. I'm going to give you the homework assignment, but you're the one that has to do it. So 
you have to do the work. Let's keep doing the work though, because oh my gosh, it's worth it. Oh my gosh, I'm so connected to myself in this way. And I'm going to make another like three hour long video about how much this has changed my life because it's worth it. If it takes years, it's worth it. And you know what? Again, that's self-love. I'm, I'm worth years of therapy. I was worth years of shining this light to get to where I'm at right now to finally start feeling good about myself. And it took years because there were, like I said, there was a lot of darkness, a lot of trauma I had to deal with and it's okay. And again, I feel better about myself in a real way than I ever have. And it's real. It's not because I need to hear it from somebody or I need to go and do something to make me believe that I don't. Do I slip up because I'm human? Yeah. But I get right back into alignment because I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm, because it doesn't feel good anymore. So again, that's a good sign. Certain things aren't going to feel good for you anymore. The more you shine that light, you're not going to want to reach for the certain crutches anymore. You're not. And if you start to, you're going to see it and you're going to do it. And then you're going to be like, Ooh, I didn't like that. Like you're going to go sleep with that person. And they're going to be like, I, I didn't like that. That actually, that actually made me feel worse. In that moment, that's when we're like, oh, okay. Because that was bad vibes. Let me give myself better vibes. So again, that's a good sign. We need to, we need to feel that difference, that contrast. It helps. Contrast means balance. So again, duality, it's not good or bad. It's just, it's to keep us in balance. Harmonious balance. That's what creates the inner peace, the gratitude. That's what creates just the journey of us really continuing to accept and love ourselves, balance. That means we're thriving. That means we are reaching our fullest potential, but I don't mean because we have to go and do something or be in a career or whatever to reach this potential. I'm just talking about me within myself, me personally. Reaching my fullest potential for me is loving myself as much as I possibly can because that means I'm feeling good about myself as much as I can. And that means more to me than anything else because everything else can be taken away from me. What you will never be able to take away from me is the light that I've already shined in my darkness. You will never take that away from me ever. It's already lit. It's a done deal. Once it's lit, that dark area that you shine the light on is no longer dark. Are there going to be more dark areas? Yeah. But after once an area is lit, it can't be unlit. That's how we close the gap. And that's how the love for ourselves feels stronger because it's lighter. It's literally lighter. It's brighter because we're brighter. So again, just think about all that. Just think about it. Let's talk more and more about these things. <laughs>